Uh, no! I had to start this video over 30 times because Dave decided he wanted to mow his lawn. And now he's leaf blowing his lawnmower. I swear to God. <laughs> I feel like that episode of SpongeBob where SpongeBob and Patrick are using their leaf blowers and he's getting really annoyed. He literally just mowed his lawn yesterday, just so we're clear. I can't. I think I'm falling in love. I think I'm falling in love. The other day, I um, made a slight haul at Ulta. It was an accidental haul, and I haven't been to Ulta in quite some time, and then I was like, you know what, I want your guys' recommendations on things, because lately, as I talked about in a few of my other beauty videos, I've kind of been dabbling more into like skincare and makeup and just kind of like, you know, getting into my girly side a little bit more. So I was like, I initially I wanted to do a try on get ready with me Ulta haul, but then I was like, oh, what if I don't like the products and I kind of want to like give you my opinion after having them. So what I did was try a few of them. I have a few things on my face right now and then I will live swatch for you some of the other things that I didn't actually want to wear today. Without further ado, let's just jump right into the haul because you girl want to look crazy. First, this is not anything I bought. This is a free gift, but I just thought this was so cute. This was a little Benefit Cosmetics bag that they gave me, and I think it's such a great little travel bag. I don't know if you can actually buy these or they just give them to you for free, but so cute. Love Cosmetics bags. I'm just gonna reach in the bag and we're just gonna start with whatever comes out first. Okay, this I'm very disappointed that you can't smell, and I always hated when I would watch beauty YouTubers and they would talk about perfumes, because I feel like it's very hard to describe the smell of something. Let me show you what it comes in though because I think it's super cute. This is the Ariana Grande Thank You Next perfume. I know this is such a random thing and I actually didn't even know that Ariana Grande made perfumes until I walked into the perfume area and she had like 17 perfumes. Excuse me, get your snooter out of my bag. So I sprayed this on a whim and let me just tell you, it is my new favorite perfume. I love this smell. Oh, did I just get that on my nose? What do you think? Does it smell nice? It smells nice, huh? They had a description in Ulta. It was like something vanilla musk or something. Something musky, I know. I'm more of a musky perfume kind of gal. I don't really like super fruity. Um, I'll research it and pop it up here for you guys. But let me tell you something. If you are looking for a new perfume, and you want to smell like Manders. I don't know how to explain this to you, but it smells so good and it lasts for a long time. I had this on last night and Austin this morning was like, I can still smell your perfume. I love it. Love when I get a new perfume and I can like get wafts of it throughout the day. It just smells so nice. Ugh. So this is also super random. Didn't even know that they made scarves at Ulta to tell you the truth, but I've always loved those infinity scarves and the only scarves that I have are like the really long ones that you tie. But I just thought that this was so cute. Okay, but really, how cute is this scarf? And it was like $12. I think you can do other things with it. Like you can tie it. Yeah, see, you can wear it in different ways. This is new to me considering, you know, I lived in Florida forever. It was so soft and velvety. I was like, yes, I need this for the winter. Which by the way, speaking of winter, I am going to be doing a winter essentials haul, which because, okay, last year when I moved here was not like a real winter because it was March. And now I'm going to be experiencing the depth of winter, like from now on until March. And I didn't own like proper gloves or a proper coat or gear in general. So I went out this weekend and bought a ton of new like winter items and boots and I'm so excited about it. So I think I'm gonna do like a must have winter in the Midwest essential videos. Do you think that's a good idea or is that lame? If you think it's a good idea, let me know because I kind of want to do it since it's my first winter and I just, I've never had to buy these things before. So I think it's fun. This was also highly recommended by you guys. These are the Formula 100.6. No, sorry, 10.06. 
and these are the keep me clean clarifying wipes a lot of you guys said you keep these in your gym bags it's made with cucumber and witch hazel i did take my makeup off with these last night and it was really nice not overly smelly like some facial wipes are I don't know, I just, these were super affordable, so if you need like some type of makeup wipe or clean your face thing after the gym, I really like these. Obviously, I've only used them once, but I'll bring them in my gym bag and we'll see how I feel. But here's something that may or may not be controversial. Okay, so I actually, before I got into fitness, I really, really enjoyed watching beauty YouTubers. And Jaclyn Hill was one of the first ones that I've watched and you know she's been pushing Morphe for years. She's worked with them for years. A little bit of drama going on with Jaclyn Hill, if you know what I'm talking about. But I do not have a lot of eyeshadows. I don't really use a lot of eyeshadows. Even just like my, this is a kind of like a natural makeup look. I don't have any eyeliner on, no eyeshadow, just face stuff, eyebrows, and eyelashes. When I said I was going to Ulta, so many people told me to try Morphe. This is my very first uh, Morphe palette and this is the one of the Morphe by Jaclyn Hill palette I just felt like maybe for the holidays this would be something that I could play with I did also because I mentioned this as well in my other in my other video I don't have a set of eye shadow brushes and I always just use the cheap ones that come with the eyeshadows and they never lay nicely so i ended up getting this morphe brush collection i just felt like this was a really good deal for how many brushes you get i don't know i just felt like i didn't know which ones to pick out because i'm not very like i don't really know much about eyeshadow brushes so i was like whatever i'll just get a set and then we'll see so i will try them with these colors i'm really really into the mauve colors I really like this hush hush color right here and then I feel like these ones would go really nice together like this whole little quadrant right there so I don't know I need to watch more YouTube videos on it because I really struggle with the eyeshadow situation so we'll see I don't see myself using that bright purple but who knows maybe I'll get really good at it one day and or during the winter months when I'm frozen to death inside my house I'll have something to do this is actually hysterical this is what I went in for just so we're clear I went in for these like two dollar chic uh touch up precision razors these are the goat i've tried a lot of different facial razors and eyebrow razors and these are just the best i love these so much and this is what i use to like microblade my face absolutely love them never get cut by them it's not too much i don't know they just have a really good quality face razor and you can use them to like shape up your eyebrows too anytime i get those like real light hairs right here i'll just get those guys and then the ones up here so love these next up oh skin i'm excited so going into the winter months everything is very dry we know this i already have dry skin as it is but a ton of you skin gurus out there were telling me that i needed to add hyaluronic acid to my skincare routine now i already have a million and one tula products and then the serum that i bought recently and the vitamin c serum and i'm just layering this stuff on at night you have no idea so i was like oh i don't know if i want another serum because i seriously use so many so what i ended up getting was this peter thomas roth water drench hyaluronic acid moisturizer because from the reviews that i read this does not break people out for the most part um, and it's not a very thick moisturizer. I have that Tula Overnight Skin Rescue, but that's really more so like a treatment. It's not an overnight, everyday use kind of moisturizer, whereas this one is. And so hyaluronic acid is supposed to draw atmospheric vapor to your skin and lock in hydration for 72 hours. So the inside of this actually, I did use this this morning before I did my makeup. It's really not as thick as you would think. So here's kind of what it looks like on my finger. And then when you put it on, it's very, um, I, I don't even know what, like silky, that would be the word. It's very silky and very hydrating, but not really greasy like I thought it was going to be. It's just a really nice consistency. And during the winter months, I know I'm gonna need extra hydration, so I'm just ready to take all precautions necessary 
and it doesn't have a weird smell. I am so big on smells when they're going on my face. If I use something that I don't like the smell of and it's lingering on my face, I will literally wash the whole thing off and throw it out because I can't stand it. So no smell on this. I love Peter Thomas Roth. I just, even before I got into Tula, I always really liked their uh, little wipies and a lot of their masks, which by the way, I did buy also. I will keep you guys updated on this, but so far since I've tried it today, I do like the way that it sits. I don't know if I look any more glowy than normal, but you'll have to let me know. <laughs> Moving right along, let's go into those masks actually. So this time of the year with uh, Sephora and Ulta always gets me because they have these little kits and like the people at the store yesterday were like, oh, can I help you with anything? And I was like, just Christmas shopping. And then they walk away and in my head I was like, for myself. <laughs> this is the Peter Thomas Roth mask mashup. It is only $25 and you get all of these six different masks and if you don't know, Peter Thomas Roth is kind of a very high-end, expensive skincare line. So one of their jars of masks, literally, I think the gold one is like $80 or something ridiculous. So I could never justify buying that in the whole thing since I didn't know if I was going to like it, right? So when they come out with these around the holiday times, I really like to buy a lot of the sets so I can try things like the minis and things like that. This one has the pumpkin enzyme mask, which I love. Absolutely love the pumpkin enzyme mask. The cucumber gel masks, which is for hydration. The rose stem cell. This one I think is just for regeneration, hydration, and brightening. And then there's two of them in here that I've never used before. The Hungarian thermal water mineral rich mask, which is heat activated. Really excited about that one. And then the 24 karat gold mask, which is like a lift and firming type of mask. It says, uh, helps, oh, there's caffeine, helps tighten the appearance of skin and revitalizes, lifts, firms, brightens, and smooths. I've used this uh, charcoal one before and I really like it. So I figured, you know, I used three out of the six. I already know I like them, so we're 50-50, and then I'll just try the other three and see what I think. But for $25, it's really not bad, and I love face masks. Next up, um, this was a flop, actually. So I heard so many good things about this mascara, the it lash blow it's like a collab with dry bar and it looked very promising from the other people that i saw it also looked promising and so i tried this last night before we went out to watch the sports ball game and i did not like it i will say however the packaging of the actual mascara is so cute it's like a little brush you know like dry bar that these types of brushes really do not work well for my lashes. And I am tried and true to the Too Faced, Better Than Sex, and Damn Girl. The Damn Girl is what I have on my upper lashes, and then Better Than Sex is what's on my bottom lashes. It doesn't clump, and it just volumizes them so much. It just makes them look so nice, and I have yet to find a mascara that can top that, and I was really hoping this would be it, but didn't like it so much. Um, it was good for the lower lash line because it was very precise. Uh, if you're, if you ever use the Benefit, they're real. This is kind of a similar one to that, but I feel like it just makes them look too wispy, if that makes sense. And I actually have a lot of lashes, so I like mine to be more thick and like just out there. I don't know. So that was kind of a flop. I was disappointed in that. I was not disappointed in this though, and this is what I have on my lips right now. I will give you guys a little touch up so you can see. This was just something that I came across, and it was the last one. And I always have this thing where I feel like when I find the last one of something, it's got to be good because everybody else is buying it. And I really love lip plumpers. I love how cooling they are and how thick and juicy they make your lips look i love them and even though based on the look of this you would think that this is like super shimmery and very in your face i don't feel like it is let me just let me get up close and show you i don't feel like this is very in your face it's just a nice gloss but it's got a teeny tiny bit of shimmer which is nice for the holidays i feel like this would be a great topper to a lip color perhaps and it doesn't like burn a lot because some lip plumpers that i use you put them on and you're like ow and this is not it's very mild and it was the last one so took a chance and i really like it speaking of other lip products actually this was recommended to me by you guys but i didn't know which color to get and i was standing there with like 70 swatches on my hand and I'm, I, I'm gonna have to test this out at some point. 
but this is just, I didn't want to wear this dark of a color. This is the Kylie uh, Matte Liquid Lipstick and Lip Liner Kit in the color 20. Like I said, I'm big on these mauve mauve color, and I like that it gives you a lip liner and the matte liquid lip. I will say, when I was testing them on my hands at Ulta, and then I took a shower, I really had a hard time getting them off. So, this is what the lip color, or lip liner, sorry, there we go. That's the lip liner. I just I love this color so much. And then I will put the matte liquid lip next to it so you guys can see. Oh, I do really like that color though. I'm excited. And they have a very subtle vanilla smell to them, which I like. I do like vanilla on the lips. Um, I can tolerate vanilla, but not like overwhelming. It's just very nice and subtle. So hopefully I'll do a look with these soon. I'm really excited because it's a very fall color. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, this is my first ever Kylie Jenner product. A couple more things. Um, this I've been dying to try. Now I have this as my highlighter on today right here, a little bit on my nose. I think you can kind of see it better on this side. This is the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. And I will say that this little teeny tiny brush that it comes with, not a fan. It made the, uh, I used this last night as well, and it just kind of made the highlighter sit too chunky on my face. So I have a different one that I use uh, for my highlighters. But this is Cookie, and I heard so many good things about this highlighter and I am a sucker for very beautiful glowy highlighters that are not too much and this this nailed it honestly I see why this is a top seller it just sits so nicely on your skin it's not too in your face it's very flattering I feel like and I feel like it would be good on any skin tone like it's really not too pink but it's not really like a champagne pop kind of color it's just it's just right and it's not too dark because sometimes the highlighters like that I've gotten in kits before can be almost like a silvery gold. And I'm like, eh, that's a little too cray cray. Love it, love it, love it. This is really exciting. So I absolutely love Anastasia eye products, eyebrows, love anything Anastasia, honestly. This is Anastasia. Now I, I didn't do my research, but I think that they redid the packaging and the just entire tube of the brow gel. Now I was using the Thrive Cosmetics one, which I liked mostly because the brush was smaller. The old Anastasia brow gel things, this brush was massive. So like it was kind of hard to get into the tail of your eyebrows. And that's why I like the Thrive Cosmetics one because it was very precise. And so when I saw this in Ulta, it was in the same spot where my old uh, brow gel thing was. And I was like, oh, this must be new. So I grabbed it. This is what I have on my eyebrows. And I just love it. I do love the Thrive Cosmetics one, but I just love the Anastasia a little bit more. I think this might be the last thing. So like I said, I like to try the minis of things. And when I was checking out that cookie highlighter, I saw this is a Benefit Mini Cakeless Concealer. And I had a hard time picking a color, honestly, because they had so many, but I ended up going with number six. And I really, really like this concealer. I've gone through the uh, Shape Tape, the Born This Way Hydrating one, MAC one, a couple of others over the years, and only using this for a couple of, I used it twice, <laughs> literally a couple of times, and I love it. So yesterday gave me a little bit of a chance to see the longevity of it, and it was very nice. It is true, it did not cake and it did not crease, and then I have it under my eyes right now. I don't know if you can really get like a feel for it since I kind of have just a teeny bit on, but nonetheless, I really, really like it. It blended so nicely, absolutely did not crease, and I will be buying this in the full one once I'm done with the mini. So I think that's everything. That's everything I bought in my Ulta haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really looking forward to my next couple of videos. So um, I may be doing like two videos a week here and there, especially as it gets colder and I find myself like staying inside the house more. So we'll see. But let me know if you guys had any other Ulta suggestions or beauty favorites that you absolutely love this time of the year or like skin things, especially since it's getting so cold and dry. 
And I think that's pretty much it. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe so you never miss a Monday with Manders. And I'll see you guys in my next one.